Hey everybody, welcome to Toy Brief. I'm George. Um, today I'm going to be opening and taking a look at Mega Bloks Halo this thing. Um, UNSC Cyclops Jungle Strike. Boom. That guy. Uh, I saw this at Target the other day and I was like, hey, this looks like a pretty cool thing. So I want to have one. So let's take a look at it together, shall we? I don't know anything about this. It is a multi-role exoskeleton equipped for military maneuvers in tropical climates, ready for close-range combat with its crushing gauntlets and devastating wrist-mounted pile driver. It can easily crush heavy vegetation. Well, that's not very nice. Repair UNSC vehicles and tear Covenant superstructures in half. It can easily crush vegetation. Wow, what a tough guy. So let's get into this thing. It was weird. This There was a couple different colors of these things in the store. Um, and every one of them that was this cool, like, army green color, which is the, the reason I got this one, all of them were, like, open on the side. So I didn't know if they had been, if someone had tampered with them and, like, taken something out that I couldn't see behind the little piece. So I had to dig through and search for one that was mostly sealed. But I think maybe they were just, like... By looking at this like loose glue but it was only on this color for some reason the rest of them seem to be sealed fine so it comes with a little pile of pieces a little dude with a gun now this is from halo i don't play halo um so i don't really know all the parts so i thought if there's something i'm supposed to be telling you about from the game or something i don't really have any idea i don't know what this guy does or who he is i just thought it was a cool looking like military guy um in a cool little action figure. Now this has got a lot of articulation for this figure. He's got a ball head, ball jointed neck, um, ball jointed shoulders with regular arm joints. Looks like swivel wrists as well. And uh, let's see, his waist has a swivel. His crotch is ball jointed, so he's got pretty good range of motion and he's got hinged knees too. So he's got a lot of articulation for this tiny little figure, much more so than a Lego figure does. Um, he's almost like a tiny action figure, like in a regular action figure style. Comes with a pretty giant gun, so I'm guessing they have giant guns in the game. Um, let's get into this little vehicle now. Let me see if there's instructions, because there's a bunch of extra pieces, and I don't know if they're supposed to go somewhere. Oh, that's fun. It's got a cool look at the thing. So, yeah, there's parts I'm supposed to build here, so. So it looks like this is pretty built in the box, and it's just a matter of like taking it out and putting it where it goes in the package already. Online, it looks like this is seventeen ninety nine, but I think it was only fifteen bucks at toy at Target, fourteen ninety nine, I believe. Oh, I see. So there's parts that you build inside. There's a seat back piece that goes in there. Oh, that's fun. little connectors okay so there's the guy he was mostly built in the box already um, they're just a couple pieces that you're supposed to add on I'm not really sure why the instructions having you build it again even though half of it's already built but I don't know whatever it's weird I feel like if this were Lego it would be a little bit uh, less built and you'd be building a little more of it yourself but this is uh, it's not Lego it's mega blocks so it's a different kind of system but there's still a few more pieces to add it looks like there's some stuff to add to the back of him so i'm going to get to that next all right that's it it looks like there's a little backpack for the guy which is kind of cool it just fits in with a little peg and then uh the back of it's kind of neat there's a little grate system that you built on the back and there's a little vegetation crusher on the side i guess for chopping down vegetation and bushes because you know halo guys hate bushes and then I don't know if he fits in here or not. I'm guessing he should. I guess if you crunch him in, maybe take the gun out of his hand, take the backpack off. Looks like he'll probably fit. It looks like maybe he can put, if he sits against that back wall, there's a little plug back there for his backpack area. And then he could just sit back there. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, that's cool. It holds him in quite well. Shove the backpack in there with him. Put the gun on his lap, I guess. Close him in. It's a cool little mech. Um, not bad. It's cool. It's, it's something that I don't think LEGO would really make. I don't I don't know off the top of my head if they've made mechs before. But uh, 
it's a cool little war little war mech guy you can pretend you're playing avatar um i don't know i like it i think it's a cool little piece i like the sculpting on the bricks it's not very lego-ish if you're looking for a lego build time like if you're having fun with your family and you want if you're playing with your kid and you want to build lego this is really not the thing you're going to be getting um there's not a lot of building um but it is a fun looking little toy nonetheless so it's got little movable toes it's fun i like it so again it's 15 bucks and you can get these anywhere probably i found this at target check back each week for more videos watch our normal show toy break thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe